Coming out of De La Salle, Gino Crandall had just two Division I offers. Now, five years later, he's one of the most sought-after point guards in the country after deciding to leave North Dakota for this, his senior year. Ryan Shaver has the story. Coming out of high school, I wasn't you know, extremely highly recruited, so having that entirely different dynamic you know, for the first time was was a bit interesting and then it all kind of got draining you know you're hearing from a bunch of coaches in a day and they all got the same recruiting pitch you know everybody says they're going to be a final four team and you're the last piece and it's just like all right everybody can't make the final four <laughs> you were part of the first ever ncaa tournament team in north dakota mm -hmm. why did you decide to leave there in the first place obviously that was that was a blast you know being able to do something so historic with, with that team and those guys and for that school and community was was incredible but you know, four years is a long time to be in one spot, and um, I think I, I just kind of seen my, my window of, of being there closing. You're hoping to have a decision in the next couple days. Gophers, Xavier, Gonzaga. What stood out to you about Minnesota's pitch? Definitely the talent level of the guys in the program. You know, last year, you know, preseason top 15, top 10 in the team, or 10 team in the country, and you lose a couple pieces to injury. Really, they're returning most of, of, of their production from last year, and, and you know, playing in the Big Ten every night, you're gonna be playing some of the best teams in the country. And then again, you know, playing in the barn, like it wins the games in the barn as a kid, and it's like, you know, you, you dream of that. Right, can you see yourself fitting in with this roster and, and coming in right away and making a difference? Um, I think so. I think, you know, that's one thing that I'm, I'm kind of weighing with, with the decision is where can I go and have an immediate you know, impact, like not only play but be able to impact the game in, in a lot of ways. And I think there, there's definitely, you know, an area that, that I could carve out and have an influence over some of the younger guys and, and be able to, you know, I'm around those guys a lot when I'm home. So. I think, you know, fitting in with the guys is important from a chemistry aspect. And yeah. I think I could, could definitely see myself there.